What were you expecting with your first baby to have to feel? Well, I mean, you, you see, uh, you read all the books and uh, you go to all the classes and you, you do all the work, like the post work up to it, and you think, right, well, when the baby comes, there'll be this instant kind of bond and you'll be like the kind of picture perfect family. You were excited, you wanted oh, to be a dad. Yeah, I mean, we, we meticulously planned the baby because uh, <laughs> my wife's a teacher, so we've gone for the school holidays to get well everything. Well done. <laughs> um, but then, kind of, we'd done all that, like I said, been odd to, to the classes and we'd painted the, the nursery and we'd we got everything ready and we were real excited. And then the birth came and, uh, I mean, it's... And you were there? Yeah, of, of course. Yeah. Um, and it's... I'm not going to say anything like it was it's traumatic for me because, obviously, yeah. for, for the lady, for the wife, it's yeah. horrendous. Um, it's... But they're I, very different experiences, oh, I think. completely. You know, so what was the experience for you? Um, it was... I mean, I felt almost... Um, what's the word? I'm looking for? I felt it was my fault because, I mean, it... it, it Takes two to tango, and yeah. then she was. And you're thinking, there, and I've, done, fault, I've, I've done, done this, this to my to wife, her, yeah. uh, and she, it was horrendous uh, to watch, and more horrendous for her. Uh, and then afterwards, you're given this this small pink person, mm. uh, and they hand you to it. And I've got hold of Monroe, and it's the first time I've met her. Mm. Now, Effie had already started to get a bond. As soon as you find out you're pregnant as a lady, you've got nine months of yeah. kind of feeling all the moving the and movements, picking, yeah, yeah. And you kind of that is your bond's growing. Whereas when she was born, that was the first time I'd ever seen her. Mm. And had older. So, so was... what were you expecting? You know, I'm sure you'd imagine that moment. Someone's going to hand me my yep. baby boy or girl, and I'm going to feel what? Oh, and a massive what... rush of emotion, a connection. Yeah. And what did you feel? Uh, it was just like meeting somebody new for the first time. I was like, hello. And it was just, it was. I kind of felt really disconnected, which kind of, yeah. I felt like there was something wrong yeah. straight away because I. And Jaunty, was there something wrong? So there's definitely. Um... Uh, I don't think at that point there's necessarily something wrong, but I think increasingly, as time goes on, um, if you're noticing that actually that connection isn't yeah. forming, um, and that's absolutely what happened yeah. uh, to Mike, um, then yes, there is, and we know that one in ten men um, suffer with depression following the birth of a child, so it's an incredibly important thing to recognise. I can understand the bond thing not happening. I'm sure we could all look at people in life and think they're not very close to their children, and maybe you, you sort of understand that. But the depression thing, I find harder mm -hmm. to understand. That why it was so much your fault. Was it because you loved Effie so much? Do you think that you, you, you wanted? Was was it more in love with your wife than you were with your child? Um, well, f uh, for me, the way um, what happened was, um, I wasn't jealous of um, like the baby taking Effie's attention away from me. Yes. What I was kind of jealous of was the bond they had. Because uh, mm -hmm. what had happened if the baby would cry and I'd have her and I, I felt at the time, like, that she hated me. As soon as I went near her, she started crying. She didn't want anything to do with me. I couldn't do anything to soothe her, to look after her. Yes. But as soon as she went to Effie, she'd just go quiet. So yes. all these things were... They're small things if you take them all individually, yeah. but they were just building and building. Yeah. Um, you also um, had to rehome your, your wonderful dog yeah. that you'd had for many years because yeah. you were saying he, he was getting a bit anxious about the baby and the tension. He, he became quite possessive of yeah. the baby and he was a, he was a bigger Alaskan Malamute dog. Mm. We'd had him for seven years and he was Mike's, like, first baby, yeah. for, first, you know, yeah. responsible, responsibility. And it was just... We tried to do all the bonding, the classes, the training, but it just yeah. we weren't connecting. But, we're, uh, but we're here to talk about uh, Mike, I suppose, and, um, Doctor... What what should he, what should he have done, or anybody finding themselves in this position? Because, you know, the fact that we're seeing this is so unusual. The fact that we're talking about it here today either means that he's a one-off, or men don't like talking about yeah. this. Yeah. So we we know that men don't like talking about their feelings, do they? So I mean, I think you've whether it's following the birth of a child or at any other time, men don't seek help when they're feeling depressed um, or when they're feeling low, um, and and it's really really important to talk about it. And I think. Mike, you'd agree that simply the act, and certainly men I speak to, the act of sharing how they're feeling um, is a huge relief, um, and so often that's the most important thing you can do. Effie, was it you that, that pushed Mike to get help? When did you start thinking, this is not my husband, he, he's not enjoying fatherhood and there's something wrong here? Well, we grew up as childhood sweethearts and we'd been together years beforehand, so I knew he was not himself. Um, and I was, you know, I knew the father he could be, mm. and he just didn't seem to be enjoying it. And we began bickering and arguing, and we never really used to do mm. things like that before. And I could just see it, and we could feel it. And I said, "Look, you need to go and speak to someone. We're, mm. we're not working as a family unit." I felt like I was on eggshells. And are there people to speak to? I mean, 
there is and there isn't. I mean, yeah. we didn't know. There's a quite, you know, quite a lot of people now that actually said, I actually felt like that at the time. I can't believe there's actually, it's a real thing. Mm. But you went to the doctors, didn't you? And then and spoke to a counsellor. So you got, well. went to the GP first who referred you to uh, counselling? Yes, yeah, so I went to the GP uh, and he said at first, said uh, if you go NHS it'll take uh, eight to twelve weeks, uh, but you can go private and because of kind of the way I was feeling and wanting to, to fix yeah. the situation, I said, right, well, I'll, I'll go and private. And was the situation fixed? Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah, I mean, now we've got our, our second child, Leo, and it's kind of, it's everything that I wanted to have at first with Monroe. I've got with him. Yeah. Because I recognise the signs. I know yeah. that but, but it's not... But do you and Monroe have a bond? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. In fact, talking of which, uh -huh. hello. Yeah. Daddy's girl. Beautiful girl. Where's Daddy? Beautiful dress. <laughs> Good morning. Hey, hey, yes. hey Monroe. Oh, oh everybody that, wants that, Daddy. Everybody wants Daddy. Everybody <gasps> wants oh. Daddy. Oh. oh, hello. But, Jonty, again, it's lovely to see how this Good ends morning. up and it shows that help is out there and if you seek that help, it may not seem that there's light at the end of the tunnel, but there is. There is, absolutely, and I think, actually, from my point of view, it was really interesting when, when I knew we were going to be talking about this. Yeah. Um, I was thinking about whether I'd ever seen uh, a man with postnatal depression and I've asked some colleagues, and I think we have probably seen depression, but we don't, as GPs, make the association between that and the birth of a child because we tend to associate that with women. And is so it recognised now, do you think? I don't think it is, right. and I think it's so important that actually that we absolutely acknowledge that this is uh, this is a real issue.